Lamine Yamal? Like, what do you see in this, this young player? I see huge potential, uh, great talent. I believe that he's going to do it. He's going to be the best, the best players for this new generation. Maybe Cristiano is right. Yamal has been absolutely sensational since he came back from winning the Euros. But there's another player who is waiting to be recognized. A player who is exceptionally gifted, but didn't quite have the chance to show himself yet. Guler had a sensational Euro where he led Turkey to quarterfinals. But at the same time, Yamal had a better tournament clinching the best young player of the tournament. Often deployed either as an attacking midfielder or a right winger. Arda is a creative left-footed player who can make incisive passes, mesmerizing dribbles, or even bang a pure curler into the top left corner. He can pass those outrageous outfooted passes right into the path of forwards, showcasing us the mirror of the grandmaster in the game, Luka Modric. That's not all, he is solid defensively. And set pieces? Well, he's already the first choice free kick taker of Real Madrid when he plays on the field. That's just how good he is at taking free kicks. Or do a pinpoint cross just where it needs to be. Far beyond this lies his ability to see the game one step ahead. A vision which will only get better where he would make the most perfectly weighted passes that you can ever see from a guy of his age. His knack for bursting inside from the right wing and delivering accurate shots from distance, notably catching the attention of Real Madrid for his ability to bring a unique dynamic to their system. But Jamal isn't any less either. In fact, currently, he's the more dangerous of the two players. Let's put on a tactical lens and see what Yamal is really good at. When it comes to dribbling, Yamal is like poetry in motion, gracefully maneuvering past defenders with ease. His strength lies in high pressing, be it those pinpoint precise crosses that he does to find the targets inside the box, or those exquisite throughs that go like knife through butter. Great with his weak foot, but could get even better with practice. He loves playing as an inside forward, roaming around to create chances and score goals. Strong and fast, he's tough to stop. A team player always looking for opportunities to make killer passes. When he's not scoring, he's pressuring opponents and even taking free kicks like a boss. But it's not just finesse that defines Yamal. His finishing ability is equally remarkable. Whether it's a precise shot from inside the box or a thunderous strike from long range, he knows how to find the back of the net when it matters most. Both of the Wonder Kids had a sensational run at Euro, but Yamal was the best young player at the tournament. Winning the tournament and clinching four assists, especially with his decisive goal against France in the semifinals. Arda Guller won the league and the Champions League, but his role in the titles wasn't that significant. Arda struggles to find a starting spot in Real Madrid's Super 11, but you never know, it's still too early to compare them both. For now, Yamal is leading the race. There's no doubt that Barcelona's thunderous start to the season is because of Yamal, who has contributed five goals and seven assists in a matter of seven games, all competitions. It's scary to think that he is just 17 at the moment. Whether he's setting up goals or thwarting opposition attacks, Yamal's presence on the pitch is always felt, leaving an indelible mark on the beautiful game. There's not a single doubt that he's absolutely the most freaky teenage talent in the world right now, but there's still a long way to go. Comment down below, what are your thoughts about this amazing wonder kid? And hey, don't forget to subscribe as we will bring you the story of this Man City legend from a Chelsea flop to one of the best midfielders ever in the Premier League. The story and analysis of Kevin De Bruyne coming up next.